Hey guys, it's Wenu. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So today it's going to be another Amazon haul video. This will be my second one. If you missed my first one, I'll have it linked up here. I shared a lot of home and kitchen stuff in that video. So definitely check that out if you're interested. In today's video, I actually have a lot of DIY stuff, not arts and craft DIY, but just things that are going to help elevate your home and also a few tools and some hacks. So I'm excited to share with you all of the things here. And before we get into everything, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it would really help out my channel and it lets me know that you guys enjoy watching these home haul videos from me okay let's get right into it so the first thing i have to share is not diy related but it is this bathroom set so this is the bottle it comes in a set of four so we have this right here which i will be using for soap and then this container here so this not container but like a jar this will be used for like toothbrush and things like that and then we have another jar here. This has a lid on it, so really great for Q-tips or cotton pads or anything like that. And then we have another container here. So a set of four, and I went with the black one. Charlie actually picked this one out, so he was the one who selected this style, and I'm happy with it. They had a white one, which I was really tempted to get, but I copied him, and I got the black one as well. So he has a set, and I have a set. So in this apartment, we have two bathrooms, and we actually have our own bathroom. So Charlie has his, and I have mine. The bathrooms have just one sink, so that's why we decided to split it up. But in the future, if we do end up moving into another apartment or a house that has a double sink bathroom then we would obviously be sharing that bathroom and I would want our accessories to match that's just me thinking way ahead into the future but if we do end up sharing a bathroom together then I would want our accessories to match so that's why I decided to go with the black one and the black also matches our shower curtains we do have different shower curtains but we have black accents in both of them so I thought it would just tie everything in really nicely and you really can't go wrong with black and i love how this one is not a shiny black it's more of a matte black so it's very sleek modern and the tip on this one also matches this so this is the second thing that i want to share with you guys so this is um, a set of two these are glass dispensers and they are glass so they're very sturdy and i love these because on amazon they actually included these stickers for us so we went with the hand soap and the dish soap so these are going to go on our kitchen counter and they also include a few other stickers i think one was for a lotion and something else but like i said we went with the dish soap and the hand soap because that was our intended use for these and it does match like the top here it matches this so i thought that was perfect and it tied everything in together i was planning on getting this for our bathroom but but then we would have to find amber colored accessories and that one right here it came in a set of four so we just went with that one and I do like that our kitchen stuff is different from our bathroom so I like these okay the next item is something DIY related and these are peel and stick for your kitchen well you can use it for your kitchen or your bathroom but I'm planning on using it for my kitchen because I hate the backslash in the kitchen when I saw it I definitely knew that I was going to cover it up and my friend actually bought this for her old apartment so I know that this works really well we haven't applied them yet obviously because I still have them here but I'm planning on doing that next weekend so I'll definitely include a photo if I get it done before this video goes up so I am so excited because I just want my kitchen to be bright and just minimal and the current backslash right now it's these small gray tiles and it just does not go with my design style it's just not my vibe it's not ugly or anything i don't think but it's just not my style so i just want something fresh and clean and white there is one negative about these tiles and it's the reason why i haven't actually started the project yet it's because i'm waiting on a few more to come in the mail so the reason why i had to buy more is because some of the ones that i bought came discolored so they're supposed to be white but they came looking really dingy and yellow and i was not about to do that so i don't know if it's because i chose the all white tiles because my my friend she chose white tiles but she had a gray border around hers and around the tiles I do see this yellow discoloration so it could be that I chose the all white style and they're prone to have that problem I'm not really sure but that was really disappointing and that's why I haven't actually started the project yet I'm just waiting on more to come in the mail right now and I'm definitely returning the ones that are discolored so I would say to definitely be careful when you're buying these online i know that amazon has a lot of different sellers so definitely do your research 
I would say that the white tiles be very careful with because you might get a bad batch like I did. Maybe if I had went with white and gray, like the gray border around the white tiles, it wouldn't be that bad. Like I said, I'll definitely include a photo if we get that project done before this video goes up. So I'm excited though. I think it's really going to open up the kitchen area because right now it's looking a little dingy and dark. Okay, so the next thing on my list, I don't actually have it because it's getting delivered today. I was hoping that I would receive it before filming this video, but it hasn't delivered yet. I'll probably get it tonight, but I'll definitely include the clip of it so you guys can see what it looks like. I found this stunning wooden tray on Amazon. I think you can even use it as a cutting board. So the front side has this texture going on and the back side is just flat. So in the stock photo, they showed that you can use one side as a cutting board and then flip it over and use the other side as a serving tray. So I thought it was such a cute little cutting board. I can use it for photos, putting my coffee and tea on it. I think it's just so adorable. I actually saw some on Etsy and they were going for $45 to $60. So that was quite a steep price on Amazon. I found one for $25. So super happy with that one. I just wish that I had it here to show you guys. I've been waiting all day for it to come but it just has not arrived yet so I'm crossing my fingers that it will be delivered today and that way I can show you the clip of it at least. Okay, so the next thing I have are under counter lights and these are so helpful because sometimes when you walk into the kitchen at night, you don't want to turn on all the lights. You just want that one corner in that counter to be lit. And so this is just perfect because it comes in a set of four and I love the set specifically because you can actually tap it to turn on. I can't show it to you because we already have it installed. So I definitely will show you the clip of it and what it looks like in our kitchen. The next item I have here is something that's also going to help illuminate your space and these are LED light strips. So I love these ones because you can either choose the white light setting, the warm white light, or the warm light. So there's a couple different settings as you can see here. And we actually already installed these on our bed, so I'll definitely include the clip of it. It is so beautiful. It definitely is a game changer. These are not necessary, but if you want to just add a little bit of spark into your apartment or your house, you can definitely buy these and put them on anything that you desire. So besides the bed, I actually bought another one that I plan on putting underneath my island, kind of where the bar stools are to create that very just moody ambience once again. I feel like when you walk into a really nice restaurant or a nightclub, they have these low lights and I just, it reminds me of that. Not that we're trying to make our home like a nightclub or anything. I don't know how to explain it. It's just very vibey and I'm all about it. I definitely recommend these if you want to just spice up your space. And like I said, you can put these on literally anything that you want. So I love these. Okay, I have another item that is going to help brighten up your space and these are out door lights. So when I bought mine, it came with these cords. I have not untangled it yet. So it's all just jumbled up here, but they also included these mini light bulbs and they're so cute. Look at these light bulbs. So they look like this and we plan on really decking out our balcony. I'm so excited for that area because I have a whole vision out there and I plan on putting these lights on the ceiling. So it's gonna create again a very vibey ambience, just it's gonna be very beautiful. So I'm so excited for that project. So I bought these lights to go outside and these are specifically outdoor lights so they can withstand rain or shine, anything like that. So I love these and I found that these are a pretty good value for the length that I could find on Amazon. So I definitely recommend these ones. Next, I have something that is kind of boring, but just so helpful, especially if you are trying to mount something on the wall, if you're trying to put up a picture frame or anything like that. So this is a balancing tool and I actually never even knew these existed. Charlie actually bought this and this is really handy because here I'll show you. So this has these two black lines right here and there's this bubble right in the middle. So if you want your picture frame to be balanced and straight, you just have to see where the bubbles will fall inside those two black lines. If I tilt it to one side, you can see that the bubble is not in the center anymore. It's on that side now. So you have to make sure that it is balanced. So it has this section, it has this one right here. It also has another 
section right here for you to measure so i think this is so handy because you don't want to be mounting things on your wall putting in a nail and then realize shoot it's not balanced at all especially if you are renting a space and so when we put up things in here i know that we're going to have to you know patch it up when we do leave and i do not want to be patching up a bunch of holes in the wall so this is actually so so helpful next i have these transparent plastic corner covers and these are actually meant for if you have kids and you want to make sure that they're not running into anything sharp you can put this on your table or anything else that's sharp around your home so we actually bought these because our bed frame is low and it has these sharp corners and we have actually ran into these a few times and they hurt so they left scars and our shins are definitely in pain and so we decided to buy these to help with that and uh, I have run into these before but they don't hurt as bad as if I didn't have these on the corners so these are actually super helpful, especially if you, like I said, you have kids or if you just have something sharp around your home that you're constantly running into and you want to avoid having another bruise, I definitely recommend these. So they came in a pack and this is what it looks like. So you just attach this to whatever that's pointy or sharp around your home and it protects not only you, but it protects your furniture or whatever that you are putting this on. So really helpful so the very last thing i have here are these gold handles and i actually bought a set last year because i did a little diy project on my old desk and nightstand and so i actually was thinking of buying these for my kitchen i did buy them but unfortunately i'm going to be returning these because i don't think i want to change out my kitchen knobs just yet but i do think that this is such a great idea if you just want to change up your space a little bit but you don't want to spend too much money these are very affordable on Amazon and you can get a pack of these and just kind of change up your bathroom or your kitchen or like how I did last year my desk and my nightstand so they have a lot of different colors I went with the gold brassy color here but they have a silver black so I think this is such a great project idea and the reason why I am not going to do it for my kitchen I was really debating if I wanted to change it out because right now our kitchen hardware is silver which I am not the biggest fan of I would rather it be either black or gold but it's hard because the top cabinets are white and then the bottom cabinets are dark grayish brown so I feel like it might not look good if I go with black handles. So I went with gold, but here's the thing. I just know that I'm going to want to change everything to gold if I change the handles to gold, like the light fixtures on the ceiling. And you know, one thing leads to another. And I just feel like I'm trying to do everything all at once when I should just take a step back and just chill for a second so i still want to do something different with the kitchen but just not right now right now i'm happy with just changing out the backslash i think that's good for now and in a couple months if i still want to change out the handles then i'll go ahead and i'll fix another order but i do think that these are a great idea if you want to do a diy project on your kitchen i think these are just awesome and i can speak for the quality of these because i did buy a set last year like i said so these are really great quality and they come in different shapes as well i know that mine has these sharp edges but you can even buy them with the rounded shape so they have a lot of different shapes and colors and styles so you're bound to find one that you like so i definitely still recommend these even though i'm not going to be doing the diy on my kitchen but we'll see because if I change out the handles, I'm gonna have to change out the light fixtures and it's just, it's a lot. So it's easy to think of all these ideas, right? But when you really get down to it, it's a lot to do so i think for now i'm just going to work on the backslash because we have other things that we actually want to do so yeah okay so that is everything in my amazon home haul i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up it would really help out my channel and let me know that you like more videos like this so that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching and i'll just see you in my next one okay bye guys